if you are promoting your books online, you may start to wonder where are the best websites? What are the best services to utilize? And what are the ones that you're gonna to want to avoid? Well, we can talk about the ones uh, that we should avoid, but uh, let's focus today on the ones that we can definitely trust that are vetted, they have credibility, they have some authority, and they have a track record. We're gonna say all that and more in today's episode, so make sure you stay tuned. This is episode 55 of the Self-Publishing with Dale podcast, and I'm just tickled to death that you took a little bit of time out your day to spend a little bit of time with me. Alrighty, uh, I, I honestly, this is really, I, I'm blown away. Every time I say the number of the episode, it's already been well over a year that I've been doing this because I had a podcast, quote unquote podcast, at one point or another, it really essentially consisted of my assistant Ava taking the MP3 from the MP4s of my YouTube videos and just uploading them. And I just am a fan of podcasts. And when I looked at mine compared to the other ones, I'm like, oh, this is Bush League. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not going to go. So that's why I decided to go ahead and do it this way. So I just wanted to kind of pause again to say just thank you very much, all those that you follow me over on your various platforms from iHeartRadio to iTunes. Actually, I think it's now just Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, and Blueberry and beyond. Hey, uh, before we do roll into the book promotion sites and promoting your book with a trusted website, I want to let you know that today's podcast is brought to you in part by Publisher Rocket. Save yourself all the time, heartache, and guesswork in your self-publishing business. I have easily saved hours on keyword and niche research, competition analysis, and Amazon advertising campaigns. Try it out for yourself when you visit dailinks.com slash rocket. If you are not happy, I really mean this, if you aren't happy with Publisher Rocket, you can return it within 30 days for a full refund. No sweat off my back, and I know that the folks at Publisher Rocket want to make sure that you're happy as well. So again, visit my affiliate link at dalelinks.com slash rocket to get your copy today. And of course, we've got a link down inside the show notes below. All right, the problem. The problem that we have here when it comes to promoting your book. Okay, if you're not promoting your book right now, I'm just going to say this. Start doing it. Because if you're seeing any level of success without promoting it, can you imagine how much you will see when you do promote it? And if you're promoting it and you're not seeing the results, then I might recommend you try a couple of these avenues, consider some of them, and don't give up. One of the things I would also recommend and implore that you do is don't try to do all of them at the same time. Try one of them, see how it works, go back to the well, and try to tweak it to get better results. Now we see too many sites. Everyone's got a site. And I have someone, I would say easily, one to two different people getting hold of me via email every week with their promotional services for self-publishers. Inevitably, I'm underwhelmed by exactly what they have to offer the community, and I typically go ahead and just pass. Well, today I'm going to share with you five book promotion sites you can trust. Right? These are the ones that I've tried out or I've known some authors in the industry that have tried it out with great success. Let's talk about trust first. So we get this out of the way. Trust does not equal assured results. So I might say to you, hey, look, you know, you can trust this website. I'm not telling you that you're gonna definitely get some great results. I'm saying that these are trustworthy people. In other words, you can invest in their services and know that you're not getting ripped off. It's just knowing if it's going to be a good fit for you in the long term. What I do mean in trust is this equals credibility plus a track record, plus they're fully vetted, like people can vouch for them. These five sites I can fully vouch for, and actually a couple of them, I know some of the people that run them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead I'm going to start it out with this one. This is the gimme. Number one, Amazon advertising. Wow, that's a shocker, right? You know, I, I, I'm going to talk about book promotion. And of course, naturally, we talk about Amazon advertising. And I hear a lot of people just belly aching. Oh, Amazon advertising doesn't work for me. It's because you're doing it wrong. Okay? Quite simply, if you aren't getting the results, then either you're not doing it properly or there's something fundamentally broken about your book. 
Could be the cover, could be the description, could be the price point. If your ads aren't returning like they should, could be your cost per click. It could be your average daily spend, right? There's so much that you can look into when it comes to Amazon advertising. This is a trustworthy service. Now, rest assured, if something goes wrong, the nice thing is they actually have a report button inside your dashboard that you can get a hold of them. So this was probably a few years ago. I had something go wrong to where I think like an ad was supposed to be paused or it, it had a certain daily limit on it and it went well above that. So I got a hold of them. They saw the discrepancy. They credited my account. All right. So that means I got to advertise for free, even though they kind of let everything kind of go. And they gave me a $25 credit. Hello. That's nice. That's like free friggin' money. And so I'm just telling you that, yes, Amazon wants your money. That's why they have Amazon advertising. But they also want you to sell more books because if you sell more books, they make more money. And if you use Amazon advertising, they're going to make more money and then you sell more books, so on and so forth. It's just knowing how to utilize that avenue. Number two, this one's a, a really, this is an old school one and actually one of the, my very first sponsor of self-publishing with Dale and that is Book Doggy. And Book Doggy actually is run uh, by none other than the illustrious uh, uh, Martin Crosby. Martin, I almost lost his, his name for a second there. Martin is actually a longtime friend here of the channel, and he had actually put together Book Doggy to help out other indie authors. And he um, runs this service for free to discounted books and primarily ebooks. So you're not looking at print books or audiobooks for this particular service. And it's dirt cheap to run the service, and it comes very well recommended. In fact, one of the resources I'm going to discuss later on even puts it on their list. And I think it might need updating since then, but they run on an email newsletter. So readers will subscribe to the email newsletter. And then when you run a promotion with Book Doggy, they send it out to their email subscribers. Now, according to the Readsy post, I've kind of spoiled a little bit of the, re the resources I'll be talking about. Uh, and the Readsy post, they say they have about 20,000 email subscribers. Now, I think that it actually is considerably more since that post. So um, I can't be 100% certain. I'd have to double check with Martin. But 20,000 readers, which is ridiculous volumes of people. And the nice thing is with this particular service, you don't end up investing thousands or hundreds of dollars into it. I think like a promotion runs like 12 bucks. I think they have like a more expensive service that they have involved in it. But I can tell you this, that Martin is straight as an arrow, a good dude, and someone who wants to help see you succeed. Now, just a heads up, your book is hit, right? If the cover looks bad, if the description's really poor, they may not accept you for a promotion. So don't take offense to it if they say, mm, nah, and that, that goes for any of these services as well. Don't, don't take offense to it. If somebody says your, your book covers hit, you might want to go ahead and fix that. Just wanted to kind of get that one out of the way. Number three, number three is Indies Unlimited. Now this is a free resource, free resource. If I can recall, according to the Readsy article that I had uh, dug out, they have like 60,000 average monthly uh, visitors, unique visitors. So that right there is pretty freaking cool. Now, it's not an email newsletter that I know of. It is just a website and it's very deep, has a lot of great resources, free courses for indie authors. Definitely look into indie, Indies Unlimited. I'd actually met the owner of it and the founder and her and she actually runs it with the other people it's a non-profit organization to my recollection her name is uh gosh cat brooks i believe i'd actually interviewed her once over on self-publishing with dale some time ago she's been in the business for a few decades longer than a cup of coffee and she wants to make sure she helps you folks out when it comes to getting some of your books promoted and free service you can't beat that with the stick there's really nothing that you need to be like distrustful over with, with this particular site because they're there for you. Um, I've yet to utilize Indies Unlimited, but I've had a sit down conversation with her. And uh, I'm just gonna say this, that it's definitely worth looking into. Number four, Books Go Social. Now Books Go Social is kind of a new one to me, but I've, I've heard a little bit of buzz about the indie author community and some people that have utilized their services 
And more recently, since I became an Alliance of Independent Authors member, I've gone into the resources page and part of the resources, they actually have discounts to using Books Go Social. And uh, they have a number of avenues between an email list to their website, to Facebook and Twitter presence, and they have a pretty active and engaged following. So it's definitely something worth looking into. And when Ally actually puts the green stamp of approval on them, you know it's gotta be good. I know, I spoke with a friend of mine, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that, when she had put her business through their watchdog service, she said it was the most thorough process she ever went through. She said it was tough to actually get an approval rating because they, you have to pass specific, um, a specific bullet point or checklist in order for Ally to give you that green stamp of approval. So books go social, definitely probably had to work for that. And it's not like someone can just go down and plunk down $1,000 and say, hey, well, just give me a green stamp of approval. Yeah, the folks over at Ally just cannot be bribed. Um, it's just not even worth trying. So Books Go Social, definitely one to take a look at. Now I've got a fifth one, but before we do break into the fifth one, understand that I'm actually gonna give you some resources here. So that way you can go and dig into a deeper pool of specific book promotion sites and especially ones that are niche relevant. So if you're something like a romance writer or you're a self-help writer, there might actually be specific sites for you to take a look at. And there's some of these resources I'll share with you. Number five, this one's the biggest and baddest one on the market and baddest meaning like cool, like the cool kid on the block. And it is BookBub. BookBub is absolutely gigantic. And there is two ways you can utilize BookBub. Now, one of them is through PPC ad campaigns. And that means that you, you run an ad with them and you pay per click for them. Just about anybody can utilize that service. There's some limitations. I'm sure they have some books they will not allow for their ads. But there is the biggest and most coveted spot you could ever get, and it's a featured promotion. Now, the featured promotions work according to the specific niche that you're in. So let's just say we're going to go back over to romance. If you're a romance writer, what you can do is tap into a promotion for your book that's available on Amazon. And if your book's for free, you pay X amount of dollars. If it's at 99 cents or say $2.99, it's even more money as far as an investment. But the real trick is actually landing a feature promotion because BookBub is very, very picky, very particular about who they promote inside the email newsletter. Now I've met a few people and I would say, mm, if I were to think right off the top of my head, there's easily about a dozen different authors that I've ever talked to that landed a featured deal and of those authors, only one of them, only one of them didn't have the results they were looking for. They said they pretty much broke even. Everyone else that ran a BookBub featured promotion said they made their money back and some, and they grew their email newsletter. This is to tell you how massive and how influential BookBub is. And uh, it's, it's no surprise. They've been around for quite a while. They came around the Kindle Gold Rush of like, say, I think it was 2013-ish. Could have been a little bit earlier. I know Paul Rega, former uh, guest of the channel, was just telling me about all the stuff that he had to go through to land his feature promotion deal. And when he did that, he was able to hit the top 100 inside the Amazon overall Amazon store, which is incredible. You have to be having hundreds, if not thousands of downloads in the course of a day in order to hit that top 100 list. So BookBub is the most trustworthy uh, avenue you can definitely look into. Uh, good luck if you try to apply for one of these featured promotions and you get turned down, don't take offense to it. They turn down more people than they accept. But what I would recommend is study from people that have been that path. I know David Gogren actually has a um, book about BookBub ads. Pick that one up. I heard a couple people swear by it. They said it's fantastic. I have yet to pick it up and read it. I know David uh, does some really good work uh, inside the indie author community, so it's definitely worth looking into. Hey, just a really quick plug. Uh, when it comes to YouTube, join me every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Day Time at dalelinks.com slash live, where I go live broadcasts and... Also, you're listening to this podcast right now. 
chances are very likely you may not be aware that there's two ways you can actually consume this beyond just listening to it. You can join me on twitch.tv slash self-publish every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Daytime where I do the full recording of the episode and you can actually get a behind-the-scenes look and we usually get a little bit of jib-jabbing before and after and you see everything behind the scenes. Or you can see the fully produced episodes over on YouTube and you can do that by going to dalelinks.com slash YouTube podcast and we just started that channel. We're just about ready to hit 100 subscribers over on YouTube. So do me a huge favor. Go over to that link and hit that subscribe. And you can actually catch up on some of the older podcasts. I'm kind of pumping them out about twice per week. So we get a little bit caught up. I imagine we'll get caught up on all the episodes come a little bit closer to about August to September time. So that way when I record one episode, it will be on the very next week. So, all right, final tip. I told you I was going to give you some resources, and that is going to be the full list of sites. There are there are so many that you can you choose from. So I would recommend that if you're looking for something that is specific to your niche, try out one of these four sites. The very first one is anytime you hear about a book promotion site, go through the Alliance of Independent Authors website. Watchdog Service is what it's called. And the Watchdog Service is pretty much a gentleman, uh, run by a gentleman, his name is John Doppler, and I imagine John actually has a few helpers. They go through and they make sure specific sites have a certain criteria that they're supposed to meet. And a something that is guided by allies' code of ethics to make sure that it's going to be good for you and that they're trusted. And if you, for some reason, don't see a service on their watchdog service list, you can actually put in a request. I've done a couple of requests with them. It does take a while for them to get to it because obviously they want to make sure they're doing their due diligence before they put somebody on their list. And whether it's good or bad, it's always a good idea to go and run through those book promotions. That's dailylinks.com slash watchdog. And by the way, I'm gonna have this all in the show notes. Readsy, I had already told you a little bit about Readsy. Readsy actually has a deep list of book promotion sites. A lot of them very niche specific. You can go over to dalelinks.com slash Readsy promo. By the way, Readsy is spelled R-E-E-D-S-Y. So that's dalelinks.com slash Readsy promo. It is really cool. They actually have a search feature and everything else. And Readsy is the... Um, is a great resource. I actually worked with them previously. They had actually done a guest blog post for me and I don't think they're gonna get behind any website or keep a website on their list if it's not on the up and up. Next one is going to be TCK Publishing. That's Tom Corson Knowles. He's one of the OGs of the modern day self-publishing model and he actually has a site called TCK Publishing. If you head on over to dalelinks.com slash TCK promo, you'll be able to get the full list that he recommends. And I was just talking to this gentleman via text message a few days ago about this. And uh, it is Dave Chesson's Kindlepreneur. Uh, Kindlepreneur, he actually has a full list, things that he's vetted. And um, I was speaking with Dave about it. I said, well, you know, do you ever, you know, double check some of these? And he's like, yeah. And he says, if they ever find a book promotion site isn't who they say they are, or they start to do some things that are shady, he says they immediately pull them off there. Um, but they try to do their due diligence and make sure they're putting book promotion websites that they can stand behind. You can go over to Dave Chesson's Kindlepreneur by dalelinks.com slash Dave promo. So hit up my boy Dave on over there. By the way, each one of these resource lists are not affiliates. They, these are just 100% free. I get no kickback for sending you on over to there. I just want to make sure that you're equipped with as much of these promotional websites that we trust as possible. I always recommend double back around to the Ally Watchdog list. Even if you went through Readsy or TCK or Kindlepreneur, double check it on over there before you invest in someone's services. Well, as we start to wrap up today's podcast, I just want to say thank you again. And of course, subscribe or follow me on your preferred podcasting platform. And do me a favor, leave a little review. And especially if you listen on Apple um, or Google Play Podcasts, any number of those, you can leave that review. And I actually get it through a service called Chartable. Chartable tells me when I get some reviews. In the meantime, in between times, it's been self-publishing with Dale. And I will chat with you next week.